For a federal advisory panel is rejecting a plan to offer booster shots to most American. It's a blow to the Biden administration, which hoped a third dose from Pfizer would shore up people's protection against COVID. The panel says Americans 16 and older should not get the booster, but people 65 and older and those who run a high risk of severe disease should get the extra dose. The pandemic is leading to staff shortages at local schools. KNBC 9's Rebecca Gannon is live in Leewood with the story, Rebecca. Laura, here at Leewood Elementary School, the kids are gone. The day is done. After all, it is the weekend. But the work it takes to making sure that school stays open all week, that's been pretty tough. You've heard the phrase robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's essentially what's happening here at the schools right now. Today, Lakewood Middle School's PE teacher was there, but across the district, it is a constant effort to keep the staff in schools. Signs line the front of every school in the district looking for hourly workers and substitute teachers. For now, filling those vacancies means getting creative. Last year, I, I subbed in a, in a kindergarten classroom and being a high school certified individual uh, was a learning experience. And uh, it, it's just what you do when you have a, a pandemic and when you have a labor market that's tight like this. Blue Valley has some of the best pay in the area, and as you heard, it still struggles to get staff in. So coming up tonight at 5, we're going to take you to a place where only half the kids who signed up to go to school actually can go there. That's because they don't have enough teachers to staff the classroom. We'll show you where that is coming up tonight at 5. In Leewood, Rebecca Gannon, KMBC 9 News. Thank you, Rebecca. Positivity rates are falling in Missouri. 10.5% of COVID tests are coming back positive. That is the lowest rate in five weeks. In Kansas, 8.9% of COVID tests are positive, and that also is the lowest in about five weeks.